friend in touch radio all right happy wednesday it is real estate ray welcome to coast to coast real estate I hope your week is going good. It's hump day. Hump day. Hump day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so today in studio, I have with me a person that I very much look up to in the mortgage business. Um, he has a unique product that he's going to discuss with us today. I have Mr. Michael L. Banner from Professional Mortgage Alliance. Whoa, and the crowd goes wild. That's, That's right. Me. That surprised me. That's right. Well, thank you for having me, Ray. Oh, man, I, I, I've i been waiting on this for a while. <laughs> We've had to sync schedules because I know Absolutely. we're both busy. Uh, before we get into the show, I always want to give a shout out to my sponsors, um, Albert Cook from Complete Home Inspections. I want to give a thank you to him. Maurice Johnson from Securities National Mortgage. I want to give a thank you to him as well. And Vicki Pagan from Greenleaf Title. I want to give a special thank you to her and a special thank you to... Um, my company, uh, Florida Luxury Realty, Sharice and uh, Scott Barrett and Connie Barrett, all of them, everybody that supports me and keeps this uh, show going. So Sharice I have to, is the best. She is the best. And we, we have her in common. She yes, introduced yes, me right. to you. That's right. So um, for the people who don't know you, because um, you do have a huge following on Facebook and social media, um, what, what do you do? All right. Well, I've been a mortgage broker. We've already established uh, more years than you've been alive. That's uh, true. Just barely. That's true. Just That's barely, true. but yes. <laughs> um, and about oh, almost 11 years ago now, uh, a relative, uh, an older relative said to me, my favorite aunt, we all have our favorite aunts. Yes, we do. Um, and, uh, she actually said to me, I need a reverse mortgage. And, wow. Uh, yeah, okay. And, I, and I, you got to remember, I was in business 27 years at that mm -hmm. time, a direct FHA lender, and I actually said, isn't that one of those terrible mortgages where you lose your house? Right, and that's what and, we've heard. Yeah, and she called me a, a bad Jewish name that rhymes with truck. <laughs> oh. and, and, and it starts with schma. <laughs> and, uh, and she said, you better do your, your homework, Bubbala, because you don't lose your house. So I did. Ah. I had never done one. I had very bad impression of it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, very bad connotations of it. Uh, I called the then uh, national biggest player, which then was financial freedom. Mm -hmm. They didn't survive the big. Session. Right. Um, so they're no longer around, and they showed me what a reverse mortgage was, and we did it, and um, and to this day, which was 11 years ago, still benefiting from it, and I just walked away from that, going, you know, you know that this is just incredible that there is a loan out there uh, with no penalty uh, that allows seniors 60 years old and above, used to be 62, now it's 60. Oh, okay. 60 years old and above to access a portion of their equity, not all of it but a portion during their retirement years and have no obligation of a principal and interest monthly payment for as long as they live in that home. Hmm. Literally no mortgage payment for as long as they live in that home. And that had such a profound effect on her that I decided I really, really wanted to do this. And over the last 10 or 11 years, built a national niche uh, in the reverse mortgage world. Now, we talked, I remember when we first met, and you taught a class on it, and it kind of changed my mind a little bit about, um, you know, at least entertaining it, mm -hmm. or, you know, if, if one of my clients wanted to do it, I don't feel so bad, right. especially if I'm, you know, referring them to you. Um, but when we talked, I was like, well, how how does that work? You have no payment for the, for the yeah. time that you live in that home. Yeah. Like, can you explain the process of that? Like, like, like how, do, how, does it, how does it go from start to finish? Absolutely. The, 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 this product, more than any other product ever, ever, anywhere from the hula hoop to the annuity, okay, has more misinformation and half-truth surrounding it because our detractors, and our detractors are big. Mm -hmm. They range from the Wall Street Journal to USA Today that are constantly printing things that are not true. I'm not saying they're giving a bad opinion. They're putting things in writing that are not true. But the simplicity of it is staggering. Mm -hmm. Tens of millions of people in this country have a line of credit on their house. It's usually a second mortgage. It's called a HELOC, a right. home equity line of credit. What a reverse mortgage is, is 
a line of credit that allows the client, as long as they're 60 years old and above, to defer their payments till after death. I wish I could say it was more complicated than that, right. but it's basically an equity line that allows you to defer your payment. So to give you an example, let's say you borrow 100 grand uh, in a regular mortgage and the interest is 5%. Let's forget principal for a second. The interest is 5%. 5% of 100,000 is five grand. That year, you will pay five grand out of your pocket in the form of about $412 a month. Right. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody goes, oh, that's fine. In this particular program, you just won't. And at the end of the year, when you get your statement, you don't owe a hundred grand. You owe a hundred and five. You merely have deferred your payment. Right. And deferred interest is just not that that big of a mystery. People do it all the time. But when it's masked behind those two words, reverse mortgage, oh my God, what does that mean? All that means is you're deferring your interest. Now, something that most people don't realize is every month with a reverse mortgage, you get a monthly statement every month. And it says, real estate rate. Did you change your name legally to that? Dear Mr. Real Estate Rate, <laughs> <laughs> you're not of age, but if you were, you borrowed $100,000 last month. Your interest this month, based on, let's say, 5%, is $412. Here are your three options. You can pay the $412. Believe me, the bank will always take your money. Right. Number two, would you like to make a principal reduction? You're not obligated, but you certainly can. Or number three, I'd like to defer. Now, most people choose the last option, to defer. If they wanted a payment, they wouldn't have got a reverse mortgage. Right. But like we were discussing before you hit the go button, you know, because I got here a little early, you know, you, you're talking now that people are living longer. This is all about longevity. The whole world is about longevity. Your financial plan, your long-term care insurance, your life insurance, your Medicare supplemental policy. Um, you know, the two of us are, I know they can see us, are the same age. You know, our fathers, our grandfathers, when they were our age and they were getting ready to retire, they had to think, wow, did I save enough money to live the next 10, 15 years? You and I which is probably why you're sitting there and I'm sitting here, we got to go, we're going to live the next 30 years. Because in this country, if you make it to 65, just make it. Notice I didn't say healthy. Just make it to 65. The odds are better than 50-50. You're going to make it to your early 90s. So the ramifications of making it to 60, 62, working your whole life, putting the kids through college, making the house payment, doing all the things that everybody does. Right. And then going, wow, it's time for me to take a deep breath. And then you realize half the time you've been on this earth, 62 years, you still have that ahead of you, another 30. And the truth is 1% of this country, 1% has the ability to live those 30 years without working. The rest of us are doing something. So when you add into that formula of longer life of longevity no house payment you take away let's say that eight hundred dollar house payment mm -hmm. and by the way the average house payment in florida is fourteen hundred but let's just say for a second you were in your 60s you got your house 20 years ago it was a less expensive house we retire your eight hundred dollar a month payment when you're 65 okay we don't give you extra money we just get rid of your mortgage payment let's do a little math $800 times 12 months, 12 months in a year, that's $9,600. let us let us round that to 10 Gs, 10 grand. You're 65 years old, and the odds are you're going to make it to 90. 65 from 90 is 25. You're saving $10,000 a year in cash flow, positive cash flow, not tax benefits. This is money you spend on food, cars, medical insurance. God forbid taking a cruise. 10000 a year for 25 years. That's $250,000. That's a quarter of a million dollars that mom and dad have to live rather than pay to a bank. Now, everybody goes, well, that's it. You don't know anything. Of course you do. That money has been accruing on the back of your mortgage. But your house has also been appreciating. Okay? And, um, again, it's your classic 
pay now, pay later. Somebody's going to pay it. It's going to be sold when the last borrower dies. And um, who it'll be sold by? By your children. Everybody goes, oh, it's a reverse mortgage. When we die, the bank gets the house. Right. No, no, never. When the last borrower dies, the house goes to the children or the estate or your temple or your church. It's none of, the, it's none of our business where your house goes. They're simply getting a house with a mortgage, which is what most children get in this country, a house with a mortgage. And then they have two choices. Do you like this house? Well, in Florida, it's really kind of strange. We're unique because we're the number one retirement state in the United States of America. So in most cases in our state, the children go, you know, we like the house. Uh, You know, we vacation there a couple times a year with the grandkids. But that's not where we had Christmas dinner. That's not where we grew up. There's no real emotional connection. No, let's sell it. So you sell the house, pay off the mortgage, and the children pocket the profit. Now the children go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dad's got a house on the intercoastal waterway. Dad's got a house on a lake. Dad's got a house on the third green of a golf course. You bet your ass I want it. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. You bet your butt you, uh, uh, I want it. Right. Well, just like any other mortgage, they're going to go, okay, unfortunately, Dad is gone. Mom is gone. You have to go out, get your own mortgage, pay this off, and now it's yours. Same thing as a regular mortgage. But there are two exceptions. This is what's really incredible. Let's say when you go to buy this house, it's upside down. It's 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, and dad's $300,000 house is worth one fifty. Just happened to us very recently, okay? And because they got this mortgage when they were 65 and they deferred 25 years of interest, they lived to be 90, they owe 300000 on this $150,000 house. You and I know that as being upside down. Right. All right. A deficit balance. Well, in a regular mortgage, mom and dad personally signed that loan. It's guaranteed. Now they left it to their children. And you got to know that the banks, absolutely, it happens a million times a day as we sit here, are calling your children and going, well, this is your inheritance and it's worth one fifty, and they owe three hundred. How are you making up the difference? Did Dad leave you life insurance? Was there annuities? Is there anything in their savings account? You guaranteed that loan. It's got to be paid. A reverse mortgage is what is known as a non-recourse loan. The only non-recourse loan in the United States of America, residential. The FHA lender is not even allowed to ask your children about other assets. If the house is upside down, the children call the lender and say, what's the address? We're sending you the keys. So mom and dad got to live there the rest of their lives with no payments. Maybe mom and dad had life insurance. Maybe mom and dad had annuities. Can't be touched. Let's take it one step further. They do want the house, and it's $100,000 upside down. Mm -hmm. Again, regular bank's going to go, well, Go get a mortgage. I don't care how wealthy you are. I don't care how high your credit score is. Nobody's lending you money on a house that's $100,000 upside down. And why would you want to buy a house for $100,000 more than it's worth? In our reverse mortgage, guaranteed in the contract with HUD, if one of your children or any member of your estate wants to purchase your house and it's upside down, an independent appraiser is brought in to get today's value when mom and dad passed away, the value of the house then. And any one of your children can purchase the house for 95% of the then value. And then HUD eats the difference. So basically it would be like... It's win, win, win. So it's basically like if they've gave, given it to them and they wanted to sell it anyway or buy it from them. So mm-hmm. it would be like that. Like if mom and dad didn't yeah. pass... They just wanted yeah. to sell the house to the kid. It would be like that. That would be exactly like that. I mean, God forbid, uh, God forbid something happened to you. You right. have children. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure your house is going to your children yes. yeah, at your age. I know your children are younger. But your children would have the same two choices. Do you want dad's house? Right. No. Well, then sell it. What are you asking me for? Right. Do you, oh, but we do want dad's house. Well, then get a mortgage and pay us off. Right. Same thing with a reverse mortgage. But mm. if they're upside down, your children aren't responsible. It's amazing. So how does your company actually make money then? 
because because what it's seeming like is they're not paying anything. And they're, they're definitely actually, not. They're actually getting a paycheck, right? Well, but in some paycheck, cases, but... they get money if they right. have enough equity. Right. In most cases, now remember, right now we're talking about the traditional reverse right. mortgage. We're not talking about the purchase, like my class that you came okay. to, how right. people buy houses. Right. But that's okay. That's a very small percentage of the world. Most people use the traditional reverse mortgage. You all see the commercials, Robert Wagner, Fonzie, Tom Selleck. Yeah. You can't turn on a TV without seeing a reverse mortgage commercial. That's the traditional. Mom and dad own a house and they want to pay off their mortgage or they want to get money out to pay off their cards or credit cards. Right. That's a traditional reverse mortgage. And, and truthfully, we make money because we charge no points, no origination fee, uh, no processing fee. Good. All right. You got a break? Yep. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to break. We're going to come back on this same topic. I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been listening to Coast to Coast Real Estate with America's favorite realtor, Real Estate Ray. Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I uh, got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college you know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than one million jobs in only five years. And a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. All right, we are back coast to coast real estate with America's favorite realtor, Real Estate Ray. So I'm still sitting here with uh, Michael Banner. I tell you, my eyes are wide and my ears are perked. <laughs> uh, like this this subject, I mean, when we see those commercials, I, I'm be honest with you, like me and my wife, we see those reverse mortgage commercials. It's like, I would never do that. Like, that's, that's the feeling that's, that comes up. That is. Because yeah. I'm like, I don't want to lose the house. I don't want to do anything that's going to put you know, our kids, Je um, kids' legacy, the right. le our legacy at Jeopardy uh, for our kids. But what you're explaining you're right not. now makes a lot of sense. I just have that, like, that same yeah. question, which is then how do you make money? Because they come to you to get the to get the reverse mortgage. Right. So, like, how do you, how before, do you make before I, money? Before I go back to making money, because okay. I'd be glad to tell you how right. I do it, because we're proud of it, right. because, again, I charge the clients no origination fee, no mortgage brokerage fee, mm -hmm. no processing fee, and no underwriting fee. They just pay the HUD fees and whatever Florida pays. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be glad to tell you. But it's fine. When you say you see those commercials, right. and that's what you think. Mm -hmm. That's America. This, this loan has been around for four decades. And, it, and not only... And America doesn't wrap its arms around it. It's that old cliche mm -hmm. from our parents' generation. If it sounds too good to be true... And that's what people think yeah. about reverse mortgages. Now, you talk about the legacy for your children. That's mm -hmm. very important. Or is it? Here's the thing. And I usually do things in, in generations. And, right. and the way we work, it's usually generations about war. We have the greatest generation. That's our fathers. That's the World War II generation, your right. grandfather. Right. Okay. A lot of people don't realize that you know, it's not their nickname, the greatest generation. They were the greatest generation no no generation in history will ever pass what our fathers did i mean just to get on the soapbox for a second they literally went to world war ii stopped hitler from taking over the world stopped japan from taking over the world came back to america in 1945 when the war was over and you would i mean they literally saved the world the planet and you'd think they just sit on the porch put their feet up and go what more do you want from us? We just saved the world. But instead, our fathers 
became the generation that defined this country. The congressmen, the presidents, the professors. Mm -hmm. First man to walk on the moon, greatest generation. First doctor to do a heart transplant, greatest generation. CEO of Coca-Cola, back then, greatest generation. Inventor of IBM, greatest generation. First man to break the speed of sound, greatest generation. First man to walk on the moon, greatest generation. These were them. They didn't sit back and go, guys, what do you want? We just saved all of you. They literally built the infrastructure of the greatest country in the history of history. Mm -hmm. And even though our country is in a little bit of trouble now, I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, right. got some issues in this country, especially with ethics and honesty and morals. That's where we're hurting. Right. But that generation, our fathers, they stuck out their hand. That was better than a contract. Right. Their hand. Shaking it, a hand, a, a smile they and a, were the a greatest smile on the generation. Handshake. Now, that generation would literally die before it put a mortgage on their house. They had their mortgage... Uh, burning parties in the mm -hmm. 1950s, and, and it was unbelievable. Now you have the next generation, which was the Korean War generation. Absolutely great generation, and they really want to leave their house free and clear to their children. Keep in mind the greatest generation are in their mid-90s. They're dying out at 4,000 a day, and there will be none left in four years. Wow. That's terrible. Wow. The Korean War generation <clears throat> excuse me, are in their 70s now, <clears throat> and they also put a very big look on that house as their legacy right okay but they do reverse mortgages but they do them reluctantly last resort then you have the vietnam generation everything in my world is wars i don't know why but it is the vietnam generation unbelievable great heroes the only generation that this great country didn't treat correctly we treat them correctly now you're too young for this but when they came home from war we did not treat them right. It, one of the bad spots in American history. And they're getting treated right now. They also, they want to work for their children, but they're also that first generation that's going, my God, I'm in my 80s. I thought I'd be dead now. And they're telling me I'm going to live another 15 years. They're using a lot of reverse mortgages. My generation, our generation, the baby boomers, are going, wow, you know, we did great. Mm -hmm. Um we made more money than our parents, but our parents had more money put away for retirement than we did because we spend it, whether it's on our children or whatever we do or right. just for fun, we spend it. That generation is looking at their kids and going, we love you. We put you through college. We were there when you needed us. Don't tell me I can't take a few hundred grand out of my house and start taking mom on a cruise every six months because you want a bigger inheritance. Right. Okay. So that image, it really is. Mm -hmm. It's the parents going, do I, should I? But when we do a reverse mortgage, I can't tell you how many children, and I, and I feel funny saying children, because these are people in their 40s. Because mm -hmm. mom and dad are in their 60s and 70s, and they go, well, you know, nah, I'm going to talk about with, with the kids. <laughs> and literally, the kids say to the parents, we have a nicer house than you. We make more money than you. Come on, live. Get the mortgage. Take those cruises. Play golf. Have fun, you know. So it's cool to want to do that. And how old are your children? Uh, well, we have, and it's a blended family, yeah. but we have from 30 all the way down to six. All right, so I bet so. you if you said to your 30-year-old, and I just know this because I know you, <laughs> given an option, bigger inheritance, or well, mom and dad and I have, mom and I have a better life. What do you choose? I bet you your 30-year-old look you right in the eye and go, you guys have a better life. I don't need a bigger inheritance. Now, remember, they're still going to get an inheritance. But right. you're eating up a lot of the equity in the house to have a fun life, to have a better life between the ages of 60 and 90. So that thought that you have, that's what everybody has. Um, it's very, very difficult to get America to wrap their arms around this because everybody's first thought is, house has got to be free and clear. And then you look at them and you go, why? And they go, no, I just think it should well that's cool i don't right. disrespect that why well, my children have a bigger house they make more money than me you know what i don't know why <laughs> it, right. it, but it's our first thought because that's what our dad said that's what our grandparents said and that unusual and it's entrenched now the purchase reverse mortgage what you and i do right or what i do well, with well yeah what, what i knew about yeah that's another thing that america just has not wrapped his arm around it and um a lot of it has to do with those commercials. I have nothing but respect, you know, for those commercials, for the companies that do it. I think Tom Selleck is a great spokesman. But to me, this is just me speaking, 
every time I say this on a show or write it, uh, I get, you know, 77 emails or something on LinkedIn or Facebook telling me I shouldn't say this, but I'm saying it anyway. To me, and, and again, I think Tom Sel uh, Selleck is a, is a great spokesman for our industry, but when somebody that makes five, six million a year looks in the camera and goes, I know what you're feeling. You're really short on cash. No, you don't know what they're feeling, and you're not short on cash. You're being paid seven figures to say that. Now, it doesn't mean he's not sincere and not a good guy, but I think these commercials are actually hurting us. People like yourself, young people, intelligent people, look at this commercial and go, give me a break. I mean, it's like Robert Wagner used to walk out, and I love Robert Wagner. Me too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I just do one of my favorite people forever, uh, especially now on NCIS. He's a regular. You know, some people think he killed his wife, but, eh, you know, everybody has a bad day. Um, you know, that's just life. But yeah, I love him. But he used to do the commercials. He'd walk out, stand in front of a you know, $100,000 collectible car. I don't know if you remember that commercial. Mm -hmm. In front of a $3 million mansion. But let me tell you about reverse mortgages. Oh, no wonder people are confused. So we've, we've given the wrong message. Uh, so that's the first reason why the purchase reverse mortgage for real estate agents uh, to sell to their clients 60 and above. That's the first reason why, um, why the real estate world hasn't wrapped its arms around us. And the reason is the reverse mortgage world has done a terrible job explaining it to you. It's our fault. Oh, yeah. The second reason, and I can say this because you know me long enough, my God, realtors are hard to teach new things to. I mean, they're just, you know, you just walk up to a real estate agent and go, I want to show you something new. And they go, yeah, 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 I don't really need that. Really? Can I tell you what? Okay, fine, what is it? It's a way to sell a house to people in Florida with no payments. Uh, I'm not sure my people would be interested in that. Your people wouldn't be interested in buying a house with no payments, which is why that realtor's 1099 said $19,000 last year. No insult intended. I just insulted 80% of the real estate agents out there. But be that as it may, it's very hard as a group to get real estate agents to sit down and pay attention. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to say it. But when they do, it's unbelievable. I mean, I did it with oh, you. I did oh, it with yeah. people in your class. You know, Sharice was so nice to let me do that for everybody. Um, in fact, I think we're doing it again soon. Uh, but, you know, just in the, in the last three weeks, my little independent company in Florida, although I speak throughout the country on this topic, uh, my mortgage company only lends in two states, Florida and New Jersey. And just in the last few weeks, we had somebody who just sold their house, made $180,000 on the sale of their $400,000 house, came down to the Sarasota area and fell in love with something that was $250,000. You know, in Sarasota... Certain areas for 160,000, you're buying a garage, mm. sort of like areas around pretty here. Pretty much. So or a these, dock. Yeah, all right. <laughs> pretty uh, much. Yeah, pretty much is, is right. So these people went, well, you know, this is kind of bad. Now, these weren't poor people. Poor people don't have 160,000 in cash. They could have taken some money out of their bank account, they could have got a mortgage, but they wanted no mortgage payment while they retired. So they were both uh, 66 years old, actually. So we did a purchased reverse mortgage. When you're 66 years old, we're going to lend you about 44%. We don't lend a lot. About 44% of that 250. So we lent them about $112,000. So it's really just to get over the hump, the yeah, gap so, between what you have and what you want. So think how this, these people's lives changed. When they met this real estate agent who attended my class, mm -hmm. they wanted to write a check for 160 grand, And they were going to buy a piece of crap house. It's just that simple. End result, they bought the quarter of a million dollar retirement home of their dreams. Quarter of a million. I lent them 112. They came to closing with the difference, 138,000. So just let's look at that for a second. Number one, they got their dream retirement home. They're happy. Mm -hmm. That real estate agent is getting referral after referral after referral. So that's number one. Number two, almost just as important, we met their goal of no payments. Right? But number three, let's think about this. When they met that particular agent, they were going to write a check for 160000 They ended up coming to closing with 138. Did they have an extra $22,000 for furniture, for a trip, to put back in their savings account? I mean, yeah. that that's life-changing. Mm -hmm. But now there's a number four. This is where I don't understand... 
by real estate people all around the country are going, oh, my God. When that person met that realtor, that realtor was selling them a $160,000 house. They ended up selling them at two fifty. Did his commission just go up 60%? That's a raise. With a clear conscience? Yeah, that's a I mean, a you're raise. not overselling. There's no payment. You can you put your head on the pillow at night and sleep well. You didn't hurt these people by upselling them. And that really and truly is the power of the purchase reverse mortgage. It is a legal, ethical, and moral platform to upsell clients 60 years old and above. Because th- you know it happens all the time. I mean, they move down from Ohio or Michigan or New York or New Jersey, and they made three hundred grand. They made four hundred grand. I want a house in countryside near uh, on the golf course. Uh, that's not three hundred grand. That's five hundred grand. Okay, I want to live in Tampa near Tampa Palms. Uh, that's seven hundred grand. And they're going, oh, well, why don't we take that three hundred thousand that you have, and put you into a five hundred thousand dollar house? No, 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 I don't want a payment. I have a product that doesn't have a payment. Too many real estate agents use this as trying to sell it as a normal mortgage. Mm-hmm. All right, look, you got to put 50% down, and people go, what? It's not what it's for. All right, it's so we're going to come back. Thank you for watching. Oh, well, thank you for listening and watching <laughs> Coast to Coast Real Estate with America's favorite realtor, Real Estate Ray. Hey, this is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecues? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some. And get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. Hi, this is Dr. Veronica Walters, also known as Dr. V, the head of school at the Walters Academy for Entrepreneurship, a place that we like to call The Way, where we're educating today's youthpreneurs to be tomorrow's billionaires through social entrepreneurship. Do you have a student who's bored, frustrated, gifted, inquisitive, creative, business-minded? Then maybe you need to check The Way out. Listen, we have an educational platform that allows for individualized instruction. It's strength-based, project-based, and designed to help your students become the absolute best they can while starting their own business and being an entrepreneur. If you're looking for something different and you need to find a more excellent way, then you need to visit us at The Way. That's The Way, www.thewaetampa.org. Or you can call us at 813-603-7923. We look forward to showing your students a more excellent way at The Way. All right. Welcome back to Coast to Coast Real Estate. It's, your, it's America's favorite real real estate agent, realtor, home matching expert, <laughs> real estate Ray. So we're back with uh, Michael Banner. He's given us a lot of information on the new reverse mortgage. Again, the crowd goes wild. Right. I think they're loving it by now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I actually have... Um, I actually have a friend coming in now. He's actually a, a realtor from uh, Clearwater. Mm-hmm. His name is Nick Acosta. So I'm yeah. going to have him come in and kind of weigh in and get Good, this information as well yeah. Yeah. Uh, since he's early. Mm-hmm. We, was, we were supposed to have lunch with him, but That's I right. think this is something that he'd want now, to hear about I always well. love to have someone's input because, again, like I said, uh, to have an ethical and moral platform. You know, realtors and mortgage people are blamed for a lot of stuff. The house was oversold. It was too expensive. Oh, my God. Right. You know, Mom's payment's too high. It's always the evil mortgage person or the evil real estate person. To actually have a product that takes that away is kind of incredible. Now, what what actually happens after the fact? Like, so you buy this house with no mortgage, right? Well, no, you have a mortgage. Deferred. But the payment is deferred till after you die, if you wish. Yeah. Yeah. Don't always remember. It's a reverse mortgage. Right. So it's a mortgage. All right. So 
what so what ends up happening after the fact like once like let's just say right. so you have no mortgage well you have a deferred mortgage payment until right. death correct right. Until Even the, on that product. Until the last borrower dies. And right. it's, un, it's very important to understand that. Again, maybe it's my age. It becomes more important to me. Right. Um, so no mortgage payment until the last borrower dies. Statistics say that dad is going to die first. Right. Men live five years less than women in this country. There's an old joke in the insurance world. Why do men die first? Because they want to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> but, but you do. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, and this is where it gets, I mean, quite frankly, emotional to me. Mm. We meet these people in their 60s, and that's great. Right. We're in our 60s, and you know, we're still going strong. Mm. Now you go down the road 25 years. You met dad when he was 65. Now he's not your dad. This strange client right. that you really didn't know. Now he's 90, and mom is 85, and he passes away. But statistically, that's what's going to happen. Right. All right? Mom loses 60% of the household income. She's 85%. And if dad had a pension, it ended with his life. His Social Security ended, but mom's would be increased to cover right. a little bit of that. Dad was in that age bracket, maybe not today in the kids' age bracket, and millennials, but in that age bracket, Dad was responsible for 60 to 70% of the income. So right. now you have an 85-year-old widow who's putting their loved one down right. after 50, 60 years of marriage. That's that generation, okay? And now she's got to think, how can I keep the house that I love that has all the memories? I can't afford the payment without Dad's Social Security and right. pension. My God, I can't even afford the taxes let alone the lawn man and the pool man. But if they did come to our class 25 years earlier, they have no payment. Where is mom going to live better than or cheaper than other than with children? No payment. So the ramifications of this product 20, 25 years from now, after our sale is long done and our commission is long spent, you have family members because I, I – I, experience this mm. going oh my god i mean all our friends are moving mom in or putting mom in the facility or the home wow. mom has no bill my mom has no mortgage payment why would she leave mm. so so may i ask this question absolutely you can all right i am 62 years old and uh i have no home i'm renting mm-hmm how can I use a purchase real estate um, a purchase a reverse mortgage a purchase reverse mortgage it, for my benefit? Well, the first thing you do is you find uh, America's most popular realtor. Let's see who he is. Oh, there he is, real okay. estate. Right. <laughs> and he, okay, I got it. And he finds you your dream retirement home. Okay. Okay. And at your age, you would be a very young reverse mortgage borrower. You would have to put down about fifty-five percent. It's not like the kids' FHA loan where they're putting down 3.5%. So let's just say, for example, you found them a, a $200,000 house. Right. 55% of $200,000 is hundred and ten dollars You put down hundred and ten dollars I give you ninety. You have no payments. He's only lending 45%. It. 45%. Right. Now, the older you are, the more we lend. Doesn't that sound backwards? I lend more to a 70-year-old than a 62 I lend more, way more to an 80-year-old than a 70-year-old. But well, they will have more cash available. Or well, no, 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 not more they're cash. Gonna they're going to die quicker. They're going to die quicker. Ah, That's it. We, okay. Now, you have to have less cash. You're 90 years old, hmm. even 80 years old, 80 to 90. I'm going to lend you close to 70% of that purchase price. For your age, I'm only lending you 45. So if I, so if I, okay, all right, another scenario. I got that. It's, so the max is 45% no matter what. The minimum. Oh, the minimum. Yeah. And it's, it creeps up as you get older. And then it creeps older. up as you get as older. You get so old. 70, from 45 to 70%. Yeah, our oh, biggest is 75. 75? Okay. Yeah, you're 90 years old. I'm going to lend you about 75% of what you're out. Hmm. So, so, so if, if you look in the reverse mortgage market, then you have to decide whether or not you want the standard reverse mortgage or the purchase reverse no mortgage. they're two different products the standard is for people that already own a home 
Okay. okay? Like, quite frankly, I, I'm, I round off numbers, you know, because right. a lot of people listen. Uh, I don't write that many anymore, but when one of my students says, Michael, when somebody took my class, this is my mom, would you do this? This is my, I, I always, I love doing it. So I do it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing a reverse mortgage right now. You're going to laugh for somebody with a $1.5 million house. Mm -hmm. No mortgage. You would think, uh, hello, you have that much money that you have a $1.5 million house. Their taxes are 60 grand a year. Uh -huh. Their flood insurance is 30 grand a year. And they lost half their money in the Great Recession between 2008 and 2013. Oh, wow. I'm lending them $600,000 on their $1.5 million house. But get this, they're taking it at 5000 a month. They get a check from our lender for 5000 a month for the next 10 years. And they're going to use that to pay their taxes, insurance, flood insurance, and maintain that beautiful home. So it's not just for you know the little guy. And then you go way to the other side of the spectrum where, and again, you, you're going to laugh, but... I know you well enough. You'll have tears in your eyes at some of these closings. When somebody comes and says, I want to buy a, a $70,000 mobile home, you know, in, in here. And that's fine. No disrespect. And they look and they see what you get for 70 grand. And it's like, this is not what we were expecting. And, well, let me show you like a $120,000 villa. Right. A small condo. A small townhome. And they go, yeah, I, I would love this rather than the mobile home. Right. Two bedrooms, two bath, little fireplace, yeah, you know, blah blah blah. But all we have is seventy thousand, and we live on social security and a small pension. Well, with a purchase reverse mortgage, as long as you're above sixty, you put down seventy grand on that one twenty villa, you're in, and you have no payments. I mean, so I mean, it's it's so much fun to do this for somebody mm. with a million dollar house or a six hundred thousand dollar house, but when you look at somebody that's buying eighty grand or a hundred grand. And tell them they can buy 150 or 200. You're, you're changing their retirement. You're literally changing their quality of their life. Because you know, you know, especially in our business, everybody waits for like the other shoe to drop. So uh, it's always. like, okay, I'm not gonna have any payment for this time, and then you know, my kids are gonna have to pay for this, or their this kids gonna are gonna happen. inherit a house right. with a mortgage, right? Um, Which you would have. Yeah, anyway. and I gotta tell you, I mean, again, I always say this when I do my public speaking. It, it usually doesn't offend people. Sometimes it does. If you have raised children mm. that put a higher priority on their inheritance than your quality of life, then you did a bad job. I'm sorry. that I'm not going to have any. I'm Jewish. I'm not going to have Jewish guilt over this. Okay? If your kids are going to look you straight in the eye and go, look, the hell with your quality of life. I need that damn house free and clear. Don't, don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Well, I, mean, and, I know, and, it, and, and, and I know it happens. I know it happens. We understand it. Yeah. But I still like the fact that you at least have a choice. You, yeah. you can you can choose to do it. It's very upfront. That's you know right. that okay, when you pass, your kids are gonna have a mortgage or right. a small mortgage or what have you. Well, or no, they're gonna have a big mortgage because well, remember, the longer you live, the oh, yeah, more it the accrues. More, I don't want to pull accrues. punches here. True. The longer you live, the bigger that balance comes. And it's funny. Again, I always got to talk about our detractors. Mm -hmm. A lot of our detractors it goes. That's where the ripoff is of the reverse mortgage. You borrow X. You owe four times as much. And that, especially when a real estate agent says that to me, it drives me crazy. Because I go, do you, ever, do you ever close on anything? Well, yeah. And what do the people get? 30-year mortgage. Well, did you ever multiply the person's payment? It's almost double. Time? It's more like triple. <laughs> you know. Nobody complains about it in a forward mortgage. But in a reverse, oh, that's terrible. You owe more? Yeah, you owe more. The interest is accruing. It's the magic so, of accrued interest. So if 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 I'm putting down, if I'm virtually putting down fifty five percent of the of the price. At your young age, I, yes. I'm putting fifty five yeah. percent down. So over, mm, let's say I live to I am ninety two. Right. That's thirty years. Right. Uh, after thirty years, that basically fifty five percent has been eaten up. That or, yes, that original fifty five percent, and again, this is where people don't wrap their arms around mm -hmm. certain things. Let's just say you bought a two hundred thousand dollars something, okay, that you put fifty five percent down on. You put one ten, we have ninety, okay, and thirty years from now, when you're ninety, you're gone, and that that one ten that we lent you, oh my God, that one ten is after thirty years five hundred grand, and we go, oh my God, what a loss. Nobody's figuring the other thing. What if your two hundred thousand dollar house went up four percent? Notice I'm not saying six or eight mm -hmm. or ten. 
four percent for thirty years. It's worth about seven hundred thousand. Oh my, the kids sell it and make two hundred grand. You gotta put both sides of the equation. So yeah, you're the longer you live, the odds are you're eating up the equity you started with. But your house is gonna grow. We have proven in the Great Recession. It don't always grow, that's for sure. But even to this day, the average house in the state of Florida since nineteen fifty has averaged six percent appreciation. That's counting the 1980s with Black Monday. That's counting 2009 through 2013 when it went down 50%. Oh, yeah. The average appreciation in the state of Florida is 6%. So if your interest is accruing in the fours and you only borrowed 55, 45%, so really only half the house is accruing interest, but the full house is accruing between 4 and 6%, it can't catch up. Math doesn't work that way. But again, it, it, there's so much detractors out there that people don't look at that full end. So, Mike, so I ended up bringing, um, I ended up bringing you brought security Mr. Acosta. In, <laughs> <laughs> so, this is, so this is Nick Acosta. Um, he's actually from your side of the bridge. I think we've our paths is, is a of course, of maybe fact. a couple times at meetings. I'm not sure. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Oh, the crowd goes wild for you, too. Right, right. So he's actually going to be on the show. We agreed on the 19th. Right. We agreed that we were going to kind of do a cool. show together. He has a whole bunch of different things going on mm -hmm. on that side of the bridge. So we're trying to do yeah. our referral thing and Absolutely. all of that. So somebody asked me, well, why would you have another real estate agent? And you're a real estate agent. Yeah. like, we do referrals. Yeah. We still make money. Either yeah, way. Absolutely. <laughs> and when somebody has things that they're passionate about and they want to share, that's what this platform's for. So, absolutely. So I actually wanted you to meet him cool. and... So the topic that we're on right now is just reverse mortgages and purchase reverse mortgage. Mm -hmm. um, he actually teaches a class on these things. So it actually makes money for us. And that's why I wanted you to come in and actually listen to it. Just so you know on your side of the bridge. And we'll talk more off air later. Yeah, and we're going to be doing another class for your company soon. Yeah. So for the people that weren't didn't attend the class last year, they'll be able to. And our classes are open to yeah. every brokerage, yeah. every person. One so. of the great things is Sharice does. Right. She opens up those I classes to everybody. She's good people. Oh, yeah. Because would you rather sit across the aisle or sit across a deal from somebody who's informed? Yep. <laughs> or not? So that's that's how we feel at Florida yeah. Luxury. We we don't want to really be across the aisle from an agent that really doesn't know. Yep. So it's like, no, come to the class so they you know just mentality. as much as I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah there's we that can old, work well together. There's that old cliche again that our fathers brought, you know, to the world, which is a rising tide lifts all boats. A lot right. of people don't get that. Right. Everybody's doing good. Everybody's doing good. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot out there. Yeah, you can't just uh, sail these waters alone. No, I tell you, you can't. That's for sure. <laughs> But um, you know, back back on topic. So uh, now 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 we're back on now a break. We're back on a break. <laughs> That's our topic. We, we will be back. Um, you've been listening to Coast to Coast Real Estate with America's favorite realtor, real estate Ray. We'll be back soon. crash call ricky don't know what to do ask ricky we will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries call ricky at 844-361-7425 after an auto accident you have 14 days to seek medical attention you may be in pain so call ricky ask ricky for your best options 844-361-7425 call ricky ask ricky is a legal and medical referral service the lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals Hi, this is Dale Day. Join me every Monday at 7 p.m. for Jazz at Miss Connie's House, bringing you the smoothest jazz and the coolest guests right here on In Touch Radio. Hey, this is Miss Kay with Kay's Kitchen, where we're cooking Chicago-style fried chicken and fish with the authentic Chicago-style mouth sauce. Come check us out at our new restaurant located at 3320 East Osborne Avenue in the Jackson Heights area. We have a brand new menu which includes whole wings, catfish, pizza puffs, and much more. Call us at 813-368-5196. Again, that number is 813-368-5196. See you soon. When it comes to reality radio, everyone is a star. Shining star for you to see what your life can truly be. On your smooth soul and R&B station. On the World Wide Web. In Touch Radio.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. It is Coast to Coast Real Estate with America's favorite real estate agent, home match specialist, real estate Ray. So we're still talking to Michael Banner, and uh, we're just talking about the reverse mortgage. We were talking about the uh, reverse pur- purchase mortgage, right. and I just want to say that I appreciate you coming out today uh, and just me talking some... to me about this stuff. Uh, you can. Glad to be here. You guys do other stuff, too, which oh, uh, yeah. it's kind of like you, know, you, you work for a great company, your boss, you know, Charisse, we, that's how we met. They're right. great. But I think the first time I ever walked in that place, you guys were planning some sort of a food drive. Yeah. Uh, you know, for, with a local association for you know for those who uh, who don't have as you know as much as we do. Yep. Um, you know, that's what life's about. And when you walk into a company like, and that was my first impression. I walked out and went, oh my God. You know, besides wanting to learn about the mortgage, there was a big meeting afterwards. I think I had bought lunch, so I stayed for lunch. Yep. And as you should have. Yeah, as I should have. <laughs> and uh, and here they are, not talking real estate. They're talking about you know how to help those less fortunate. Right. Uh, in the community, and I know you guys do that a lot. That's uh, that's good people, and that's what the world's supposed to be. It really, oh, yeah, truly definitely. is. Definitely. Um, you know, one thing is to want money for yourself. You know, we all want to take care of our families and take care of our responsibilities, but it's a whole nother thing to give of yourself and yeah. say, all right, we don't have, you know, we don't have, I'll say, well, we don't have enough money to give out. Like we we'll say that to ourselves. We don't yeah. have enough money to give out. So you know, then yeah. we don't. But we do. I mean, yeah. you could give of your time. It's it's give so many time, different or, charitable things. Or go out to dinner one less time that month. Yeah, we all yeah. have a good life and take that and do something with it. Oh yeah. So in walks the styling Ooh, extraordinaire. Yes. Yes. Hello, how, are how are you, Mr. Rick? Mr. Rick. Oh, all right. So. I want to thank Michael Banner for thank joining you. me. Um, I'm glad you're here because I actually want to introduce you oh, yeah. guys too. Um, so every every time around this time, this is my spotlight time. So I choose a business to spotlight. It's usually a business that I'm a patron of. Mm-hmm. So 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 Rick, tell tell the listeners a little bit about yourself and what you do. Okay, well I own the spot the Style Lab at five five zero eight, which is a urban haberdashery here in East Tampa or as we are now called, East Seminole Heights. Right. And um, our job is to not tell you what to wear, but show you how to wear it well. Right. Uh, It is taking people who don't like to shop, Mm -hmm. personal, we do personal shopping for them. We style. Most people think of stylists for celebrities, for people who are more affluent. I believe that everybody should have a stylist because everybody should have a style. Definitely. Um, so funny story. So I meet him here, right? right? So I talk to I talk to DJ CEO. I'm like, hey man, you know he has some nice suits in the window. He's like, man, you better go over there, man. You, the prices are great. He tailors great. So I said, all right, I'm gonna go over there. So every business owner have has seen the person that goes in and says, all right, you know I'm gonna do business with you. At, yeah. at, at, at and you some never point. see them. And you again. never see him again. Yeah. Right. So he's seen me like maybe three weeks consecutively right and the one thing that made me respect this brother is he didn't bother me about it he was like he was like hey how you doing still friendly didn't even mention about the fact that i said that i was going to do it and i have in my mind when i want to do something yeah. so i went ahead in there one day i said all right so i'm get i'm gonna get two jackets from you right price was on point right on top of that the tailoring's on point so he's bringing he's brought my two jackets today uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. and i told him i said you know i got a spotlight you because i see what you're doing um do do you feel like talking about the uh the new spot that's opening up? Okay. All right. No. I was about Not to say Those, no 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 no. That's ancient Chinese <laughs> secret. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. Oh, oh God. Thank you, real estate <laughs> Ray. <laughs> yes, okay. But let me just say this. I believe that at some point God intends for us to grow. Right. And when the opportunity presents itself, it would be a shame for us to tell God. Thank you. Right, exactly. And so I believe that there are some things that we want to do. One of the things that we intend to do is to make sure that there are style labs right. all over this state. 
And that's that's I, what I meant. Not yes, exactly. Well, yes, but, but yeah. Because but, people think they can just got to come right. here. And it's like, no. No, because some wait. people, I don't care how long you tell them <laughs> right. where we are. They're going to tell you, I didn't know it was here. I couldn't right. find it. Right. I was on 56th Street. I didn't see it. So I went I went back to that place that has the two letters that buy one, get one free, or buy one, get two free. And then they fall apart while you're on the air. They really, right. uh, um, anyway. Yeah. Right. And, but, and, and that's the thing is the actual, the clothing that he gets the actual material mm -hmm. that it's made out of is very durable. Um, so he's actually styling me and my wife right. for the quality, for, for, quality, Thank quality. Daryl, Daryl so, is one of my clients as well. DJ you know, CEO, gets Tammy styled. will not let Four me years. style her, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I'm working on Tammy because I want to oh. take that. Tammy's got a lot going on. Oh, yeah. One of the things that we do, we like to take the stress, right? Of style and dressing off right. of people, busy people. Right. I have a client right now. You walked in, you saw those shirts. He started yeah. lusting after the shirts. I did. And <laughs> and I said, you can't have those. Those belong to somebody. In fact, I told my client today, I said, I'm fit to take all this stuff to the cleaners for you because mm -hmm. I want it out of here because people, I have to fight people every week for your clothing. But it is, he doesn't like to shop. He doesn't have time to shop. He's right. a young business executive. He's an mm -hmm. entrepreneur. He's a father of a five-year-old. Right. So he said to me, would you be willing to shop for me? And boy, did I shop. So yeah. he's he's On actually budget. he's actually I talked to my wife about it. So we talked yes. about it, and I've already yes. texted you and told you. But mm -hmm. he's actually going to start shopping for me and my wife. We hate absolutely hate going and yeah, picking out and trying on so he knows what my measurements are so he could just go yep. get it yeah. and if it you know and then tell her this it guy in. right here is has his own tv show so he's really? always on the oh, screen yeah, yeah. And, okay and so he's, um, he's going sir, to need yeah. yes let me just yes. say this and i don't name drop very often but i do have anchors in this city really mm -hmm. and yep. in orlando I do a couple of international notice i'm not dropping names i'm just telling you what That's they right. do tell i have the two international singers I have a couple of football players. Well, I need your card. Uh, yeah, sure. So before I'll, I leave. I'll make sure. Well, no, we're just going to take you by the shop before you leave. <laughs> okay, that's fine with me. <laughs> that's right down that the way. That is fine with me. It's only five suites away. All right. Okay. I'm in. But thank you for the, for this opportunity today. And oh, I know appreciate that I, you. I really do appreciate your business, and I appreciate the way you handled it. You never came in asking for a discount. No. You never asked for one. You want to get on my bad side, ask me for a deal. Let right. me be moved to do that because right. then it becomes a blessing for both of us. Exactly. And, that simple. and just by going down there dealing with you, now I end up having a contact with this with the conference that's mm -hmm. actually coming mm -hmm. up. So when God moves, you know he moves you to meet different people and be in different people's when lives. When he opens a door, so, yeah. it's it's one that no man can shut, but we have to be smart enough to walk through it. Definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you coming by. Thank I appreciate you. you talking about it. Suits, sir. Oh, your blazers? <laughs> My blazers. I'm speaking suits into existence. Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know you gotta we gotta do the tux. So we're doing the tux anyway for the uh for the oh, power let couples me say this ball. To you. He is coming to slay. He's already put down yeah, the he's yeah. put down the I'm just gonna say this. <laughs> don't, don't be, look, I must be the sharpest guy in the room. Well, you know, you I, so have I'm to, gonna leave that up to you. The beauty I, is I'm, that you have two haberdashers that care genuinely about okay, you, okay. between yeah, Daryl House saying, and myself. I know this this real estate Ray, He wants to be the sharpest guy. Oh, in the he room. does all the time. Okay. And see, but the good thing is that Do I can not come let him walk in there and out. Now, now, how you, saying, wait, wait. How are you going to talk to my stylist to I'm tell my stylist don't I'm just style telling him? You now. But you know, I'm also his stylist. <laughs> oh, uh, one of them, because okay, he has right. two. You know what will happen. <laughs> Can we be on equal plane then? No, yeah. no. I knew, oh, so, oh, so, I knew so, you were going to say no. Ray, he ain't Ray, Sharon, he ain't Ray, Ray no. and this is this will all be tip based <laughs> okay. on who, who gives the best tip. Okay. And, and, oh, no, I'm man. kidding. But we'll make sure that you both make style statements. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're going to be. That's what it is. We're, 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 we're it's about the sharp. style statement, yeah. That's and you know that, what? We yeah. need some of the other gentlemen from the Power Couples Ball to come on over to the two, the only two haberdashers that advertise yes. in in touch. touch. Okay. Say it again. Okay. And I will say that Classic Gentleman Boutique, who is my mentor and my friend and my colleague, and the Style Lab, you have no business going to places anywhere else. Anywhere else, because we will customize you, mm -hmm. we will ta custom tailor you, mm -hmm. and we will personalize what you're wearing. 
All right. Well, I appreciate you, Rick. And I'm, I'm looking at those coats. I can't I wait to get them on. I, I knew I was going to say no. You don't get to be C- <laughs> DJ CEO by sharing the limelight. That's, that's it. That's he, true. He, he's not sharing with you. But I'll make sure that they'll be they'll, they'll be doing this all night long. I'm trying to learn from it. They, they, look, look, it's going to matter choose. who they wore it best. <laughs> See, we might have to have this. That may be the new feature that to the be, Power Couples Ball. Right. Role. See? The, 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 who, who wore, who it, wore best? it best? <laughs> Come on now. I hope they don't make you two the Power Couple. No, 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 no. But you know, this might be the year they may have a power couple like that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. I know we're having fun at the end, but when it comes to DJ CEO and us, we love to be sharp. So the sharp battles will begin. <laughs> All right. So we'll catch you next week. Coast to Coast Real Estate, America's favorite realtor, Real Estate Ray.